these two ponds are not especially large. However, it is an example of how oxbow lakes work. An oxbow lake is a freestanding body of water that is found typically next to rivers. What happens is a river is constantly looking for a new path to flow through. And it tends to look for the shortest path, the path of the least resistance. What happens is that as a stream or a river looks for a shorter, quicker route or a route of less resistance, what happens is that some of that water gets cut off from its meander. When some of the water gets cut off from its meander, this is the result. An oxbow lake. It's more like a pond, but it works the same way. The general idea is that you have a freestanding lake. The general idea is that a stream or a river changes course. Some water is left behind as the result of the change of course. And it's part of geomorphology, fluvial geomorphology. It's about changes that take place in the earth. Another oxbow lake could be formed soon. There's still some water flowing through here. But as more deposition takes place, this little bit of water could get cut off as well, forming another oxbow lake. To understand the processes of what forms an oxbow lake, it is important to understand sedimentation, erosion, deposition. It's important to understand geomorphology. If you like this video, check out other videos on this channel, and as always, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.